Okay, so the Nintendo Switch presentation was done earlier today and <sighs> my god Nintendo can't believe you've done that. I absolutely loved it. Uh yeah, I'm I'm just messing with that title. Anyway. I loved this presentation. I mean it wasn't perfect, that's nothing is going to be perfect <laughs> when it comes down to doing a live presentation so but I did really love this there was so many things that I was expecting some I wasn't expecting Xenoblade 2 I was expecting oh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 I was expecting something from Monolith Soft I was actually expecting either a port of Xenoblade Chronicles X or a sequel to Xenoblade Chronicles X because of the way that game ends so much better just having Xenoblade Chronicles 2 because Xenoblade Chronicles, one of my favourite games on the Wii, probably my favourite game on the Wii, and yeah, I really can't wait for that. <clears throat> Super Mario Odyssey, that looked fantastic, I'm hoping that doesn't get delayed, I really, really hope it doesn't. Um, there was just so much, I mean... Everything that was actually shown today was not all of it was great. I mean, the 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 one two switch thing, not <laughs> no um, arms. Oh, excuse me, arms looks fantastic. I actually really want to play that. Excuse me. Um, super Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. We've got inklings in that. That makes me think if there is a port of Smash Bros. Going to the Switch, Inklings will be in that as well, with probably a few other extra characters here and there as well. Um, I was kind of expecting the online to be paid, I said this a little while ago, um, so that doesn't really bother me, I already pay for both my Xbox and my Playstation to be online, I wouldn't it be stopping paying one of those, <coughs> and that money will just go towards Nintendo, I actually might just get rid of one of them because they're essentially the exact same system, only one gets exclusives, the other one cancels exclusives constantly. <laughs> um, Splatoon 2, I was expecting it to be Splatoon 2, I was saying that in, um, on my live stream and also said it in a Discord chat a lot while ago, um, because it's been around two years since it's almost been two years since Splatoon released on the Wii U and Splatoon took about a year and a half for it to develop so it's not going to take long for Splatoon 2 to actually get made as well so that's fun and the Pro Controller, a lot of people are complaining about it being $70 as it is in um, America, it's £65 here which I am still paying more for it if you can bear the amount um, but yeah, I'm still going to buy one. I uh, have several Pro Controllers for my Wii U, so that's not really going to bother me. Um, I actually have several pre-orders of the Switch already. I think I have four pre-orders for it, so yeah. Um, yeah, so we've got Splatoon 2. I mean, I'm trying to think what other games are actually shown. Uh, I've spoken about Mario. I'm always going to speak about Zelda, but that'll get spoke about closer to the end. Um, I like the fact that there's going to be a proper online service with it as well. I mean, if we're paying for it, hopefully that means everything's been upgraded and it's... I mean... The Wii U's online, well not perfect, it's a lot better than what it was when the Wii U was originally released. And I actually get faster download speeds on my Wii U than I do my PlayStation 4, so... There's that, um, <clears throat> and both of them are connected to the, uh, the same Wi-Fi, and I also have an Ethernet connection for my uh, Wii U as well. So, on both different connect, both connections, the Wii U downloads things faster than the PlayStation 4 does, which is weird. Um, we get Fire Emblem Warriors. I mean, I really like both of those uh, IPs. Um, I was actually hoping we'd see. Um, the Hyrule Warriors 2, but 
but it doesn't really bother me. Um, we've seen a new Shin Megami Tensei game which looked really good. Um, Project Octopath Traveler, the game from Square Enix. When I originally seen it I thought it was going to be uh, another Bravely Default game, which I would really like, but sadly it's not. Um, we didn't hear anything about Pokemon uh, Stars being on it, which if it is going to happen it's probably going to get announced closer to at E3, because that game will be further down the line. There was no Metroid or Mother 3 like Mother. Most people were predicting, even myself, I thought Metroid was going to be there. Sad that it wasn't. Although Reggie was speaking about both of those games to GameSpot earlier, so wait and see on that. Um, Dragon Quest um, 10 and Dragon Quest 11. Now, um, I don't think Dragon Quest 10 is going to be localised, but thankfully, the Switch is region free, which means I can import it and play it. Now, my Japanese is not perfect, so hopefully there is some sort of um, either subtitles or language option. <laughs> um, either that or I'm just going to have to struggle through it. I mean, it's an MMO, so there's really not going to be m too much. But I know Dragon Quest XI will be localised, and then there is Dragon Quest Heroes 1 and 2, no longer PlayStation 4 exclusive, coming to the Nintendo Switch. Really happy about that. Uh, so you've seen quite a lot of games today which are really good, I mean they've got Super Bomberman R as well, that was announced after the um, presentation and I grew up playing Bomberman games so I'm actually going to buy that um, yeah, overall I thought it was a really, really, really good um, presentation but let's talk about The Legend of Zelda that is my most anticipated game. It has been my most anticipated game since I first seen it. Not that weird tech demo that we've seen for the Wii U at the very start of its life. The first time we've seen um, Breath of the Wild um, when it was Aonuma sitting in front of a white screen, snaps his fingers, Link appears in the background on a horse, I'm not going to say it's a pony, but a horse in a field and then runs away from the Guardian. That point there, Zelda has been my most anticipated game constantly. I'm really really happy that it's going to be released at the same time as the Switch. I'm actually going to be buying three copies of the game. Um, I'm going to download it on my Wii U. I'm going to buy the standard edition and I'm going to buy the special edition um, for the Switch as well, which comes with that Master Sword statue. Uh, sadly it doesn't have um, everything that the Master Edition in the US has. In the UK it only has a few things. I think it's just Master Sword, a soundtrack and one or two other things. I'm not entirely sure, but I've already got that pre-ordered with one of my um, one of my Switches, so that's good. I might, uh, the Switch that I have pre-ordered, uh, all of them is the one with the um, blue and red Joy-Cons. <coughs> Joy so yeah, really really happy, can't wait to get a hold of it. Um, I'm going to find out if there's anywhere close to me doing a preview of it. Um, I was supposed to be down in London today and tomorrow to actually play the Switch, but sadly couldn't get there. And yeah, I thought the um, the Switch presentation was fantastic. Um, still a few questions here and there about the actual system. I mean, a lot of unanswered questions there. And the launch lineup is a little thin at the moment, but between now and March 3rd, there's going to be a lot of other things being announced and shown, and there'll be a lot of indie games there because. Uh, at launch as well because on my Wii U I can't even remember the the games I started out with that but I got a lot of indie games on that on day one so that's not going to bother me uh, anyway guys 
Thanks very much for watching. I'm sorry about the little bait and switch at the start, but <laughs> um, everybody's hating on the Switch. Right? Not everybody. A lot of people are hating on the Switch just now, so I thought I'd just have a little bit of fun with that. Um, yeah. Anyway, guys, let me know what you thought about the Switch in the comment section below, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye now.